All right, yesterday we learned how to subtract numbers up to 20 using a 10 frame. Today we are going to learn how to subtract up to 20 using number lines. Remember what it means to subtract? Subtract means to take away. It means that we are taking apart and that we are making less. When we subtract, we are finding the difference. Remember some subtraction tips. To subtract, you need that minus sign. And those key words are always going to help you, like away, take, minus, less, left, and how many more. And remember that all subtraction problems have a start, a change, and a difference. Remember? Start, change, difference. The 5 is my start. My 2 is my change. Minus means that I'm taking away. And since I took away 2 from 5, my difference is 3. Number lines can help you subtract. Number lines are a line with continuous numbers. And to use this number line to subtract, you can look at your number sentence first. My number sentence says 11 minus 8. On my number line, I am going to mark the number 11 first. My little froggy is on the 11. Minus 8 means that I am taking away, that I am making less. So my froggy is going to have to jump backwards 8 spaces. So let's count 8 spaces back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When I mark my spaces, and if my froggy starts jumping, he's going to jump back 8 spaces and stop that 3. Let's double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8. My froggy stopped at the number 3. Therefore, 11 minus 8 equals 3. Let's try some more. Here we have 13 minus 9. Where, did, where am I going to put my froggy? You're right. Froggy's going to go on the number 13. How many spaces back is froggy going to jump? Did you say 9? Good job. Let's mark those spaces. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See what number he landed on? All right, let's get him to start jumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He stopped at the number four because 13 minus nine equals four. Good job. What about 15 minus seven? Where would my froggy be now? Would he start at the 7? No. Will he start at 15? Yes. He would start at the number 15. How many spaces back is he going to jump? Did you say 7? All right, let's jump back. Let's mark his 7 spaces that he's going to jump back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's get him to jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where did he stop? Good. So when Froggy jumped back seven spaces, 15 minus seven equals eight. Excellent. What about 12 minus seven? Where is my Froggy gonna start? Yes, he's going to start at the number 12. How many spaces back do we need to mark for him to jump? Did you say seven? All right, let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. The number seven is right there. Is that where I stop? No, because I've only jumped back five spaces. Remember, we have to jump back seven. So we keep going. Six, seven. Now that's seven spaces. Twelve minus seven. Where, he, where is he going to stop? Let's get him to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twelve minus seven equals five. You got it. This one might have a little surprise for you. Seventeen minus eight. Where am I going to start? Good. There I am. I'm at the number seventeen. Can you see me? Good. How many spaces back is Ms. Vargas going to jump? Did you say eight? All right, let's get to counting. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's Ms. Vargas gonna go? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where did Ms. Vargas stop? She stopped at the number nine because 17 minus eight equals nine. Good job. So give it a try. Look at the number sentences I have given you for today. Solve the subtraction problems and make sure to show your strategy of the number line. And you can also review drawing pictures to subtract. Remember that subtraction means to take away. Good luck.